everyone. Uh, this is Stephanie from the Tatted Tatter Crochet and Tatting Podcast. And I have decided at the last minute and uh, late in the game that I am going to do Vlogmas. <laughs> so it's uh, Sunday, December 8th, and we actually just got back from visiting family on the East Coast for Thanksgiving. So um, I wouldn't have been able to really vlog anyway. But yeah, so I'm going to do it because I've been watching everybody else's Vlogmas and I was like, oh, that'd be fun. I should do that. Maybe I'll do like the 12 days of Christmas or something. And then this morning I was like, mm -mm. nope, I want to do it. So I'm going to do it. So yeah, so Alexander and I just got to church and we're going to go run some errands and um, we're going to go get a Christmas tree tonight after my husband gets home from work. So it should be a good day and I'll show you some yarny things. I have so many yarny things. Um, I'm wearing, I finished my, uh, Croyel cowl. I can't, I don't remember if that's how it's pronounced. Um, but it's the two color brioche. So I'll show you some more of that when I get back and all the stuff. Cause instead of doing a podcast episode, I'll just vlog this. So yeah, I will see you all a little later in the day. Bye. <laughs> Alexander and I are home, and on the way home, I went to In-N-Out. If you've never been to In-N-Out, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but especially now that we live, uh, that I live in Oregon during the week, um, I have to go to In-N-Out on the weekends when I'm down in California, so that's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna make some chili and all that kind of fun stuff. Alexander just went down for a nap, so hopefully he takes a good one. We had to start. S oh, now he's mad. He'll be okay. Um, we had to re sleep train him after we got back from vacation because traveling totally messed up his sleep schedule. <laughs> so we're working on it. Mm, we'll see how it goes. He's doing really well at night. He, it only took him one night to get back to his normal sleeping, but daytime naps are always hard. So. We'll see how he does. Once he falls asleep, I'll make the chili. And then I will try to show you all some yarny bits. And yeah, I'm gonna eat my cheeseburger now. So I'll check in with you later. Okay, so baby fell asleep. Oops. It only took him about 10 minutes, which was pretty good. Um, but I realized that I cannot make chili because I only have black beans and only one can of tomatoes. And while you could make a black bean chili, um, I'd rather have kidney beans and I need more tomatoes anyway. Because I have like two and a half pounds of ground beef and that one can of tomatoes just isn't going to cut it. <laughs> so we will be eating that after Alexander goes to bed, which is fine. Because we'll go to the grocery store when he wakes up. So... I thought I would go ahead and show you some yarny stuff. Um, mini podcast episode uh, style. So I finished Alexander's Flax. Um, so this is the 6 to 9? 6 to 12? It's probably 6 to 12 month size. Um, Cascade 220 uh, Superwash. And it's amazing, and it's already been worn and washed. Um, I made it so he could wear it to my family's Christmas party, and he looked adorable in it, and everybody commented on how awesome it was. So <laughs> I did, which side is it on? Mess up one sleeve. So when I um, started doing the sleeves, with the DPNs, I accidentally purled when I should have knit. So you can see it still looks like garter, but they're really close together. And I realized I was doing it and I started to try to um, undo it. And I like got three stitches in and realized something terrible was happening. So I just tried to, did the best I could to fix it. And you can't really, like nobody noticed. I'm the only one who's gonna see it, but I love it so much. 
and I have for myself and the flax pattern is by Tin Can Knits. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Highly recommend. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, so the, the thing that I wanted to make for myself for the Christmas party was what I showed you this morning in the car. This is my, I'm calling it my Christmas brioche cowl because it's red and green for Christmas and it's brioche. It's the, and I, they call it a cowl. I, it seems like people use infinity scarf and cowl interchangeably. To me, this is an infinity scarf. Like a cowl sits like up here, obviously. Even when you fold it over twice, this doesn't do that. So um, I used special yarn that I bought at Oregon Flock and Fiber Festival from Sheep Bear Farms, something like that. And it's a wool, non-superwash wool silk blend. And they didn't, they don't name their colors. Um, and then the pattern, I'm, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I took Spanish in school, not French. Um, but I think it's the Croyel cowl. And it's just a two color brioche pattern. Um, also free on Ravelry. And I think it's fantastic. I love it. I made a plethora of mistakes, but uh, this is 250 stitches. So I was not ripping back and I wasn't gonna tink back because I I barely figured out how to do brioche, much less how to, to tink brioche. <laughs> so <laughs> I left in said mistakes. They're all in the same general vicinity. So I just made that the back. So like here's where it joins. And so you can see I was, I messed up um, what was supposed to be happening at the end of the round and at the beginning. And I figured it out eventually so that it looks like it's supposed to be that way. And then like all that business. And then I accidentally purled sometimes when I should have knit. So you can see, uh, where is that? Oh, here we go over here. Balls. But again, nobody's gonna notice except for me. And so it's actually helpful because then I know where the back is. So, <laughs> um, and I did, I finished this, the Christmas party was the Saturday after Thanksgiving and I finished this on Friday. So we just spray blocked it very lightly so that it would dry in time. And um, yeah, I loved it. Everybody was too uh, fascinated by Alexander's sweater to really comment on my scarf, but that's fine. I love it. And I've been wearing it ever since. So, lovely. And so I loved the flax pattern so much that I decided I would make one for myself. So last Thanksgiving, uh, we always go to my in-laws. They live in Northern Virginia for Thanksgiving. And my mother-in-law's a knitter. And she, um, was helping me learn knitting stuff last year. And I had decided I was gonna make myself a pullover because that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to learn how to knit was because I like the look of knit pullovers a little bit more than I like crochet. I say that not having made a crochet pullover, but well, I started a crochet pullover. All I have left to do are the sleeves, but that was like two years ago. So one day that I get finished. <laughs> it's also like five sizes too big for me. Um, but anyway, so I had bought this beautiful yarn from Long Dog Yarn and started another pattern and I got like three rows into it and it was really confusing because I was new to knitting and I was like making one left and right for the raglan increases and it was going back and forth instead of working in the round and blah, 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 blah. So I went ahead and ripped out the three rows that I had on that one <laughs> and instead decided to start a flex. So I have... I'm almost done with the yoke. So this is the yarn. Isn't this gorgeous? This is, um, again, long dog yarn. This is the rose gold colorway. And it is the Merino DK base. So it's 100% superwash. I have seven skeins of this, so this should be plenty because I'm almost done with the yoke and I'm almost done with the first skein. So yeah, it's working up really pretty. And I love the garter panel on the sleeves. 
it kind of the yarn smells dusty because <laughs> it's been sitting in a bag for over a year um but yeah love it and the so the flax pattern calls for a worsted weight yarn and this is a dk so i swatched i actually just used my swatch from last year but i checked and i'm still on basically on that same gauge and so doing the math which hopefully i did correctly um i just need to make i need a large size which i think is a 42 inch bust and so i'm just making the extra extra large and that should come out. I think once I split for the sleeves, I'm gonna try to put this on either waist yarn or um, longer circulars and um, try it on just to make sure it's fitting okay. I'd rather it be a little too big than too, too, too small. So um, yeah, I'm making the extra, extra large. And I love it, it's so pretty. So this is what I'm going to work on while I watch some Vlogmas videos and the baby naps so that when he wakes up, we can go to the grocery store and I can make chili. Um, yeah. That's all I have to say for now. <laughs> I will see you all uh, probably at the grocery store and then we'll go from there. <laughs> no, you have to go back.
So Alexander has woken up from his nap. Really terrible lighting in this kitchen. And uh, I'm making him his rice cereal. So I thought I would show you all how that goes. So, so I have, I've already mixed it, but we have, um, it's like Gerber organic rice cereal. And it's just flaked, like dried rice. Sounds really appetizing. <laughs> And then I mix it with um, breast milk that I've pumped. And so you can see the pump parts drying in the drying rack. But yeah, so here we are. It's uh, not the most appetizing thing in the world, but he absolutely loves it. So I'll have to show you him being really excited about it too. <laughs> yeah, who's hungry? Is that good? You can probably hear we're listening to or watching Catherine of Craft Renewed Treats, her vlogmas. <laughs> Good job, big baby. <laughs> Christmas tree! Are you excited? <laughs> He's excited.